Hello guys this is Big Smile Editing. In this Photoshop tutorial, learn how to easily make crystal ball effect or glass ball effect in Photoshop. I will show you how to make surreal landscape or surreal glass ball effect in Photoshop. Ok let's start. Go to file menu, open the image. Go to the tools panel then select the magnifying tool icon then right click the image and choose the fit on screen. Go to the Tools panel, select the Elite tool. Hold Shift on your keyboard. Go to the Tools panel, select the Move tool icon. Move the circle. Go to the layer panes, right click the ellipse 1 layer, then choose the rasterize layer. Select the background layer, go to the layer menu, select new, then choose the layer via copy. Select the background copy, place on top of the ellipse layer. Go to the filter menu. Then select the Distort, then choose the Spherize. The Spherize amount is 100%. Select the Background Copy, right-click, select the Create Clipping Mask. Go the Edit menu, Free Transform, Hold Shift Alt on your keyboard. Select the Ellipse 1 layer. Right click. Select the Blending options. Select the Inner Shadow. Inner Shadow Color. Set white color. The color white code is 6F. Blend mode. Choose the linear gauge, opacity 50%, angle 60. Uncheck the box, use global light. Distance 40%, choke 0%, size 200 pixel, contour Gaussian. Uncheck the box anti-aliased, noise 0%. Next gradient overlay. Blend mode. Linear Burn Opacity 60% Gradient Select the Foreground Transparent Click the Foreground Transparent Set Location 50% Style Choose the linear, check the box align with layer, angle 60%, scale 90%. Click OK. Select the ellipse 1 layer. Go to the layer menu, new. Select the layer via copy. Select the ellipse 1 layer. Right click. Clear layer style. Go to the Edit menu. Free Transform. Hold Shift on your keyboard. Go to the Filter menu. Blur. Gaussian Blur. Radius 40 pixels. Set 51% opacity. Select the background layer. Go to the layer menu. New. 
select the layer via copy. Go to the filter menu. Blur. Gaussian Blur. Radius 30.4 pixels. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you again in the next tutorial.